We're not sure if you noticed this, but there's a bit of a revolution going on. It's made from molten plastic, a nozzle called a hot end, a heated bed, and motors that can precisely glide left, right, up, down, and anywhere in between. What in the world are we talking about? 3D printers. To help us unpack just what these devices can do and how they do it, we're going to be joined by Hugh Elliott, who's the manager at CoLab in the Catalyst at Ryerson University in Toronto. It's all coming up on a tech-tastic episode of Owl Connected's General Knowledge. So Hugh, let's start here. What is a 3D printer? What does it do? A 3D printer is a machine that takes a digital file made using 3D software to create a real-world object using a process called fused deposition modeling. When you take those three words apart, so modeling, you're taking the model that you're using uh, and placing it into a 3D space, you're depositing uh, material onto another material at high temperature, which leads to fusing. So fused deposition modeling means to layer hot material onto other hot material, mm -hmm. fusing them together, which creates a 3D object. Wow, okay, so 3D space. How does the computer know how to navigate that? 3D modeling software represents itself in three axes. So the y-axis, or depth, the x-axis, or width, and the z-axis for height. Uh, and those three axes are represented in real-world terms on the printer in the same way. Okay, so from the sounds of it, it's almost as though 3D printing is 2D printing over and over and over, layer upon layer. Yeah, if you were to take a whole bunch of printouts that had the same object on them, same print on them, and cut them out and, and layer them together, it would be the same thing as a 3D print. Okay, so I've got a pretty big imagination. Is there anything a 3D printer can't print? The short answer would be no. The long answer depends on the machine. But if you can sculpt it, if you could make it out of clay or, or design it in a 3D space, you can likely print it. Okay, so let's test this theory out. Okay. I have this image right here. Can you make a 3D print of that? Oh, John, I am way ahead of you. It is ready to go on the printer as we speak. That's fantastic. Yeah. How are you able to do that? I took the logo into a CAD program, which allowed me to create a 3D version of the logo. Okay, so are we ready to print now, or is there something else that has to happen? Almost. It needs to be brought into a slicing program, which then takes that model into the space of the printer and slices it vertically into the z-axis to create the layers that we've talked about already. Okay, let's talk about the main parts of the printer. What are they and just what do they do? The main parts of the printer would be the motors, the hot end, the heated bed, and filament. The motors are used to easily replicate all the positions of the 3D space. So the Z, the Y, and the X axes. The motors will allow you to make the same object repeatedly in the exact same way using the exact same code. The hot end is part of the extrusion mechanism. The extruder is the thing that pushes filament onto the plate. If you think about it like a hot glue gun, a hot glue gun pushes glue in a solid form into a nozzle which is heated then liquefies that hot glue and creates a liquid form that can be used to adhere objects together. The heated bed is used to hold the object in place. If it was cold, the plastic would become cold and move around. So Hugh, thank you so much for sitting with us. It's been so educational and we've learned a lot. Oh. I just wanted to finish by asking one question. What is the coolest thing you have ever 3D printed? I'm glad you asked, John. I am working on a BB-8 from Star Wars. Would you like to see the dome? Of course I would. Okay. <gasps> wow. This that is, is a amazing. fully 3D printed dome from BB-8 from Star Wars. And when he's finished, he will make noise and he will spin and he will light up. <laughs> it's very exciting. That's amazing. Um, were he to get in trouble with the law in Star Wars, though, he might run afoul of Boba Fett. Mm. That is true. Mm -hmm. 
and Boba Fett could be collecting a bounty on BB-8's head. <gasps> that is also pretty cool. Thanks so much, Hugh. You're welcome, John. Can I keep the mask? Uh, sure, you can keep the mask. Well, we want to thank you for giving us this, and I'm pretty sure I'm never going to get rid of this thing. Oof. And we also want to thank you for watching. Subscribe below, and you'll never miss another episode of Owl Connected's General Knowledge.